everybody. Um, so I'm back. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I took a bit of a hiatus. I came back and my first video was in November doing the, um, a, a, just a general reading for the full moon and lunar eclipse that was, that happened in November. Um, so now I'm back. Um, and I'm going to be doing um, monthly readings for each zodiac sign and then weekly readings I'm going to have them split into like earth, air, fire, water um, energies. So you know if you're in your earth it'll be your Virgo, your Taurus, and your Capricorn signs um, and go about it that way uh, just because filming 12 videos every week was kind of strenuous <laughs> um, so that's my plan so for today this is your monthly reading for cancer so I am gonna do the monthlies for each individual sign um, so that can be a, a little closer to personal um, so if remember if you're watching this and cancer is your sun sign and it's not really really uh, resonating with you today then be sure to check out your your Pisces Pisces oh my goodness um, I'm an ascendant Pisces what I was trying to say was check out your ascendant sign your uh, moon sign and even your Venus sign okay so let's jump right into it um, cancers for the month of December I think the tone is really about ending um, some unhealthy patterns and cycles, particularly within relationships. So your oracle cards today are flexible. And I know it's like super dark in here. Um, you're watching this in the future, so it's actually a full moon tonight. It's in November, so it's a beautiful full moon tonight. Um, very spooky vibe but my lights were on and it was so bright it was like a giant spotlight on my face and it was too much so <laughs> we're getting dark in here today um all right so between worlds one of my favorite cards in the deck um and then never ending story um so i really feel like there is a relationship pattern that um has been holding you back from uh, deepening and strengthening your relationships with people. Um, the overall energy of the reading is the King of Cups here. So the King of Cups, you know, cups are watery, right? Like you actually have a lot of cups in your reading today. Um, you're showing up in your own <laughs> reading. Um, but he's also not very talkative. Like he doesn't speak really. So I think learning, if communication is part of what's holding you back, then learning to open up the, that throat chakra and really speak your truth to the people that you're in relationships with. Um, so they can really know who you are and you can really bond with them on a deeper level. Okay, so you're showing up, um, your energy is the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups, um, I still feel like you are doing a lot of learning, so you're, you're moving in from this Page of Cups energy into Queen of Cups. Like, this is where you need to end up. So, December's calling for you to become, step into your Queen of Cups power here. Um, really be introspective and identify those patterns that are... Are holding you down okay so you can't like end a cycle unless you have identified it right so really taking the time to look within and identifying the the issues that are there um, so your situation again it's the world so ending patterns ending cycles um, and your opportunity is wheel of fortune so really stepping into um, good fortune, into fate, 
um, your destiny, and your um, you've got the two of pentacles here. So really coming into balance with creating healthy boundaries, um, but also making sure that you're staying connected with the people. So overall, let me just give you a quick overall how I feel about this reading. I feel like you maybe have had a pattern of cutting when a relationship gets hard, like hitting the door whenever there, there's a fight, um, kind of a my way or the highway mentality. And it's not like you're trying to force your way down, <clears throat> you force your way down their throat, but if it's not going your way, then you're like, okay, never mind. I don't want to do it. Um, and not really giving it a chance to strengthen by working through a difficult situation. Okay. <clears throat> That's how I feel about this reading. So the two of pentacles, um, you actually have three twos here. So you've got some choices, but the two of pentacles in particular makes me feel that you need to balance boundaries with your, your feeling like I'm just done. I'm not going to deal with it. Okay. Don't your avoidance behavior. Um, <clears throat> You have a timing card here of five of swords so really in the next five weeks or so a couple weeks five days five weeks swords are can be kind of fast um i think you're really going to be turning the corner here and you may already be with someone um you may already be with your king of cups here and if that's the case for some of you i do feel like with king and queen of cups showing up here also, your Wheel of Fortune card and your outcome is Two of Cups, spoiler alert. I feel like there's a like a twin flame situation happening here. So you really don't want to cut and run on this, okay? So um, leaving behind your Seven of Wands, this need to like be on the defensive um, and close yourself off being like a little cancer crab and going into your shell and not letting anything come in, right? So this is where flexibility comes in. You need to be flexible enough to um, really compromise with people and work out your problems, work out your arguments, work out your differences, rather than just giving up at the first sign of difficulty, okay? So leaving that kind of mentality behind is really important for you. Um, it is showing a two of wands, so you do have a choice, right? So are you going to end, finally end this never ending story and have your two of cups, uh, have your king of cups? And this is just an energy, this isn't like a gender. Um, so are you going to finally allow yourself to have that real happiness with your soulmate or twin flame or are you gonna give up okay and I feel like you've been doing the work though I, so this seven of Pentacles is in part of your past here and seven of Pentacles is um, really about putting in a lot of work on the front end to help with your long-term investment for a future end result okay so I feel like you guys have been doing the work on yourselves and doing some healing and figuring out you know like what's actually good for you right and I feel like you're starting to understand that you are the master of your own destiny here the magician so the cycle that keeps repeating is not something that you're a victim of that you have no control over you're actually the magician. You have total control over it. Um, you have some, I pulled some, two love oracle cards for you guys and free yourself was one of them. And I feel like this goes along so well with our magician here. So free yourself 
of a mentality that you don't actually have control and these situations are just happening to you and you have to just cut and run and get out of them it's really not that those things are like bad things are happening to you it's within relationship um, it's that you're seeing it in a negative way and that could have seeing differences in a negative way I'm sorry that wasn't very clear <laughs> um, and that that can stem from how you saw like your parents dealing with each other or something like along those lines like it could be a long-standing issue that's that's perpetuated through your life um, but I feel like now you finally see that you don't have to live this way that you can have your soulmate and you can give your relationship a chance okay that was your other Oracle card and it's gonna be a good outcome for you two of cups you've got a partnership right here okay so cancer I think that's an amazing outcome for December um, just keep working to end those cycles don't give up as soon as something is just a little bit hard um, I think you're gonna find that once you really identify what the the issue is you're gonna be able to get past it and have this twin flame connection all right so cancers have a great one I will see you next time happy holidays